the cleanup continues. Those impacted are grappling with hail damage, which can be a pretty costly repair. Joining us this afternoon to give us some insight into that process is Daniel Armbruster with AAA. As always, Daniel, thank you so much for being here. Great to be here, Jennifer. Okay, so insurance coverage can be a little tricky. Let's delve into that first. What kind of insurance does uh, covers hail? Yeah, so when it comes to your, your automobile, there are eight different types of coverages that can come in Texas. Um, the one that you want to look for is comprehensive coverage. This is the type of coverage that covers damage um, other than a collision. So there's collision coverage, there's liability coverage, which covers the another vehicle if you damage that vehicle. Um, but you want to look for comprehensive coverage, and that pays for uh, damage uh, if a tree were to fall on your vehicle or or if there was hail damage to your vehicle. Okay, so we know that the storms came through last night. As daylight happened, people started to discover the damage to their vehicles. What are some of the first steps that they should take, best practices that they should start the process off with? Yeah, generally you'll see dents or maybe cracked or broken windows on your vehicle. So you want to make sure that you document that damage. Um, before you remove any damage, contact your insurance company. You want to contact them as soon as possible. Uh, when you get the claims started or the claims um, period started, that generally speeds up the process the earlier you start. Um, and if you have photographs or video, you want to share that. Um, it, that can also help speed up your claim. Um, but making sure that you contact your insurance company as soon as possible is really important. And even if you didn't receive damage, Jennifer, you want to make sure that this is a good reminder to read over your policy and make sure you have the right type of insurance. You don't want to find out too late that you have the wrong type of coverage. And if you have any questions after reading over your policy, you want to contact your insurance agent and talk with them um, and ask those questions. Mm, good advice there. And then lastly, do you have any insight on the data about hailstorm damage in our area across the state? Yeah, so hail can happen pretty much anywhere across the state of Texas, um, and it makes up about 9 to 10% of the claims that we see at AAA here in Texas. Um, it can result in thousands of dollars worth of damage, and it's one of the top types of claims that we see from automobile claims here in Texas as well. Okay, Daniel Armbruster from AAA, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Thanks for having me.